Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally trying out the Dior Forever Foundation. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know I love the Dior Skin Forever Foundation and this has been discontinued, sadly. And it was discontinued right before this launched. <laughs> so I must have been salty about it because I just like would not buy it. <laughs> But I finally have purchased it and I want to find out will I love it as much as I love the Dior skin forever. So if you want to find out more, then just keep watching. I'm a little bit pressed for time today, so I'm going to try to keep it moving. But I wanted to do this foundation review just for myself to see if it's similar to my Dior skin, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I've heard. I haven't really watched that many reviews about the Dior Forever. I don't know if I've watched any. If I watched one or two, I've forgotten what they said. It's been that long. So some of you may not even be interested in this at all right now, but I'm gonna do what it do, baby. I'm not gonna do a comparison. I do have the Dior Skin Forever, but I'm not gonna like put it on half my face or do anything like that. I wore this a lot here on my channel. I'm just going to go full force with this one and I'll let you guys know my impressions of it and let you know whether I think it's similar. This is not gonna be a full foundation wear test or anything like that. This is a one ounce bottle and again, this is the matte version. There's another version that is called Skin Glow. It's meant to give you a more radiant finish and I typically like a matte finish so of course, I went with that one. You're supposed to have a velvet matte finish and it is a medium to full coverage foundation that remains flawless for up to 24 hours and it does have SPF 35 in it and it's good for normal dry combination and oily skin types. I have combo skin. This product is an Allure Best of Beauty Award winner. I've already tested it on my skin to see if it was a good shade match, but I just kind of looked for the shade match, but I didn't actually wear it. I need to purchase some Fix Plus, but I haven't because I do have this little tiny one here. So I'm going to just use that one. And when it's gone, I will purchase another one. All right, I'm gonna use a couple of primers today. I was sent this product by Good Molecules and I really wanted to use it today. I tried it out, I think, as a moisturizer and I really liked how it felt, but it's a silicone-free priming moisturizer. So it can double as a primer and I didn't apply any moisturizer yet. Good Molecules is a brand that you can find on Beautylish and they reached out to me a few months ago and they have been sending me products. It's like I'm on their PR list. And I'm really um, grateful and appreciative that they're doing that because I am a smaller YouTuber and I have actually heard a couple of my favorite YouTubers who have larger channels talk about this product that they were also sent just like me because they even talked about the type of packaging that it came in and I was like oh go ahead savvy and thanks to good molecules okay it says formulated with shea butter macadamia seed oil and plant derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate smooth and nourish the skin and this is a 1.7 ounce bottle. Again, you can find it on Beautylish and I'll just pump that out a little bit. It absorbs into the skin very quickly and it doesn't seem to have an oily finish or anything. It, it feels great. And it definitely feels like it could serve as a primer as well. Like once you use this, you really don't have to use a primer, but I'm gonna be extra. I'm also going to use my YSL primer just because I love it <laughs> and I know I love it and it blurs so I'm going to really concentrate it in my t-zone area but it blurs my pores and it just gives me a beautiful overall radiant finish. Thank you again to Good Molecules for sending me this priming moisturizer. I'm really grateful for anything that I get to try out. I love it. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's shake this up. And I don't think I saw whether to apply this with a brush or a sponge. So we're gonna do a little bit of both. This is a foundation brush. This is the 47 brush by Sephora. 
I like using this to spread it on my skin. So we're going to start with a brush. I'm just going to pump like a half a pump. Is it a half maybe? Just a half a pump because typically I don't have to use very much of this when I had the Dior skin. I didn't have to apply very much. Sometimes like my my match on Sephora is not always accurate. So I typically will look for an appropriate undertone and I'll go a couple of shades darker. This one is the shade, I'm sorry I haven't told you guys. This is the shade 45N. Four, it says four, it says zero, oh, actually it says zero four five. And this was zero four five as well. <laughs> It's got like four comma five in, and then it has zero four five in parentheses. And my other shade was zero four five. So here we go. That was like a half a pump, and we're just gonna spread it out. And I may end up needing more, guys, but we're gonna start with a half. Do I even need to buff it out? This is my It Cosmetics buffing brush. Wow, that just looks like skin, doesn't it? It barely looks like I have anything on. So I feel like I need more. I should have just gone ahead with the whole pump. <laughs> we're going to do another half a pump. And we're just going to concentrate it in some of these areas where I have more blemishes. Or scarring. And this time, I'm just going to do this, and I will buff it out. Go ahead and buff it out straight away so that I don't le lose any product. Let's just go ahead and buff it out. I like the finish. It's not covering, like, I will definitely have to get a concealer probably right here or just keep doing what I'm doing right now to cover some of my dark spots it's not covering everything i was kind of surprised i didn't really know that the shades were the same or considered to be the same they just seem very different i'm curious to see if my dior skin forever is the same color as this other one that i picked so that's dior skin forever i put a little dot there and then this is oh you know what and then it doesn't feel as thick either. Let's put a little bit more of the first one just so that we can see it better. Okay, this one is Dior Forever. This is Dior Skin Forever. And they are similar, but my Dior Skin Forever looks a little bit lighter. But they are very close. I'm proud of myself. I'm liking this so far because it looks like skin and I did a good job with my match for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and do a full pump. Pick it up with the Beauty Blender. Okay, um, I'm liking it with the Beauty Blender. But it's, again, guys, it's probably no different than the first version. It's not very different, I think. But it's not covering very well. Gone are the days where I could rely on foundation to cover everything. I think probably my most full coverage, truly full coverage foundation is the Born This Way. You guys let me know in the comments if you agree, if you've ever used that foundation. but. Even like Estee Lauder Double Wear, it might come close as well. I don't like Born This Way that much. I feel like I get a little bit oily with that one. But I feel like when I put that foundation on, it covers everything. Whereas just about every other foundation that I use, I have to build up coverage. And it doesn't cover marks and things like that. So I'm going to put a little bit more and just go in a little bit. Let's just see how it builds. And see if I can cover some of this. But I want it to cover. So far, so good as far as how it feels. 
the Dior Skin Forever used to feel really lightweight on my skin. The finish of it was just beautiful. And especially on video, some foundations that I wear look really, really good in video. And that was one of those foundations that I would wear it and go, what was that I had on that day? I usually keep notes about my videos. I'd look it up and that's what I'd have on. And I'm like, wow, it just always looks good in video and pictures. But it also looks good in real life and it wears very well comfortably and all day long so i used to love that and this is giving me that same vibe i'm actually not even feeling like i have anything different on my face it feels the same i'd love to know what's really different about it i'm gonna zoom in though and let you guys take a look at it before i set it so this gives you an idea notice that mark there's marks here that aren't covered at all so that that's my only concern right now it looks very skin like and i'm liking it even before applying concealer and powder or anything else even though i did the brush and the sponge i like them both it, it doesn't really matter so either tool would be fine if you bought this foundation so let's keep going guys i'm gonna mix a couple of concealers because i love the armani finish and it is, it is so lightweight and skin-like. And I just love it. But it doesn't cover my dark circles. And this Benefit one, the Boing, this is shade number eight. And I can never remember the shade of this one because the writing is too small. But it is also, it's a really great concealer. But it is definitely very, very full coverage. And... I just want a little bit lighter concealer today. I don't know if my sponge is not wet enough, so let me grab a brush because my sponge may not be wet enough here to blend it out. Yep, and I think I'm gonna need more. Oh my gosh, what is going on today? See how thick, like I was trying not to put on too much of the boing. It's almost like the shape tape in that respect. Like if you just put, if you put a little bit too much, you have gone overboard. And um, I feel like it's easy to go overboard or to put a lot of concealer on with that one. So I was trying to go light, but my dark circles are just acting up. All right, so concealer's looking pretty good. I don't want any creasing though. Stop it. Stop creasing. So I'm liking this so far. So I'm going to complete the rest of my look and then we're going to talk about how I'm feeling about the foundation and whether I like it more than the Dior Skin. And I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. I hope you find what you've been looking for mm -hmm. Trust me, I, I don't want to feel no more So I just carved out my brows using the ColourPop concealer. I can't remember the shade. And this CJ07 NYX concealer. And I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So we're going to continue. <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna pause <laughs> i have this new nude palette i'm so excited I didn't want to dedicate a video to this because everybody has already. Medium Nude Obsession is what it's called. Oh, I love the packaging. Oh, that was so unique. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I had touched one in store yet, like the top. I like that. It's like this leather kind of feeling. 
Let's see what we got here. Like I swatched them in store, but I didn't know what the top looked like. Oh, wow. Oh, guys, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I didn't want to dedicate a video to this, but I'm going to just try it out today. So here we go. On with the video. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what this look is going to look like. I'm just going in. Let's just do it. Never mind, I'm thinking out loud before we draw a crowd. Reel it in, take it easy, there's no need to scream and shout. As far as I can see, my heart, thinking something to leave in tears. you stare I would watch you stare can't even tell you which one of these lip colors I have on I think I have on risky berry and I was initially trying out magenta affair it's Maybelline 
and then I decided to top it with my Pat McGrath gloss just to mute it a little bit but I don't know if it really did that these are both Maybelline shine compulsion lipsticks I do have a video here on my channel featuring all 15 shades but this is what we're looking like so the last time I tested out a foundation it was the La Mer foundation and I just went more minimalistic I didn't want to go full-on glam so that you could really see the foundation and this time I was just like whatever plus I have another video to film so I went ahead and did my full face I, I have not worn these baddie lashes in so long I kind of forgot how dramatic they were today's video is certainly about the foundation and we're gonna get to that but you know I also tested out this nude palette and I was just in love with it this was my first time trying it I swatched it in store and I thought that I would love it and I did I went with the medium because I just felt like I'd get the most use out of that one there's a deeper one and a lighter one this is beautiful and really easy to work with I started out using synthetic brushes and remembered that I really like using my animal hair brushes with the Huda Beauty palettes um, her formulas just seem to work better with natural brushes than synthetic for me they blend out easier with a natural brush I use my Sonya G brushes throughout most of the video but I do absolutely love this palette and it's only $29 guys so that's beautiful but back to the foundation okay so let me know what you think too in the comments please tell me whether you like the finish of the foundation but I like it a lot I think I like it a lot the only thing I don't like is that it's not completely full coverage but it doesn't claim to be it says medium to full so I think it would have continued to build if I would have like taken a concealer brush and just used the foundation to cover these places I want it to use concealer but I don't have a foundation color concealer over here with me today so I didn't use concealer so this mark is still peeping through so that I don't love and I feel like some of my wrinkles are showing more but I don't want to really blame it on the foundation my age is going to show more and more with every year that I get older some foundations do a pretty good job of like muting or kind of covering wrinkles and just marks and lines like these lines here and some of my lines on my chin and um, this one is not doing that but like usually sometimes right here the lines on my forehead can show sometimes with foundations and that seems to be fairly smooth so that's good let's zoom in this is not a wear test I haven't had this on all day I just put it on and maybe it's just it's more like skin um I guess it's like skin guys and so some of my imperfections maybe are going to show through with this foundation like I have like some pore issues right here and I've never had anything really cover that but that definitely is showing and any marks and just like little dimples in my chin I can just see those things but I can't say that it looks bad I have on a lot of other makeup but overall it still looks like skin I just have on a lot of other stuff we'll zoom back out now I can't say for sure whether I love the forever more than the Dior skin because when I was introduced to this I was a little bit younger and it was like one of the best foundations I was using at that time but since this one I've tried double wear and I think that's maybe a hair better and YSL a hair better <laughs> and La Mer and even some of my drugstore foundations like my L'Oreal Infallible uh, Freshwear it's really good too so I've tried some other foundations that I really really like since I purchased this one so maybe I'm not as impressed as I was at that time because it was one of the best foundations I had in my collection at the time you guys know what I mean but this is one of those videos where I'm saying all this but I may go back and watch the video and think oh, my makeup looked amazing and I think it looks pretty good like I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder I'm looking here I do think it looks pretty um, but I'm just not I'm not ready to commit 
Let's just say that. We're dating, but I'm not ready for a commitment yet. So I'll try this a few more times and see how I feel wearing it out and things like that. I'll try to leave an update in the description box to let you guys know if I end up like falling madly in love with this. But as a first impression, I think it looks pretty. It's just so competitive out here now with foundations that there's a lot of pretty foundations on the market. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I, I thought that I would know for sure. I just knew I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is it. But I don't know. So basically, the jury is still out. I'm not sure whether I love this one as much as I love this one. So thank you so much for joining me for today's experiment. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to leave any comments down below, especially let me know whether you like this foundation on me and let me know if you own it, do you like it? How do you feel about it? If you had the Dior Skin Forever before, do you like this one better? Let me know your thoughts. I'm really curious. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.